God's green earth is he saying? I don't know. Sound like some Tai Chi Chuan Fandango transvestite bullshit. I don't know. I was thinking the exact same thing. See, I recognize some of the words, but the sentiment seem simplistic and, well, foreign if you... The act of that nature scene on the handle? Think about a more peaceful place away from meddling co-workers, sexual harassment regulations, and the do-gooders getting in the way of your business. You get the f- Sometimes before uncomfortable litigation can happen, we insure against drunk driving. Accidental. Deviate News. With your host, What's up? This is High Def with your Deviate News on this Cinco de Mayo, and we're coming to you from the streets of Liberty City to bring you our first Grand Theft Auto 4 special. Today we'll be exploring the city and giving you the facts we know so far about the game. For those of you who haven't gotten the COD4 map pack yet, we'll be taking you through the best and worst aspects of the $10 downloadable content to help you decide to purchase or not to purchase. And we'll be taking you inside the Metal Gear Online beta, as promised in our last show. But before we get into all of that, let's see what Apple has for us on In The Loop. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. I'm on top of one of the highest spots you can climb up on in Liberty City. And later, I'll not only show you how to get up here, I'll also be keeping you up to date with all your PlayStation community news. Thanks, Apple. We'll see you later on in the show. Now, in case you haven't noticed, the past couple of weeks have been very busy for PlayStation 3 users. First came the highly anticipated Metal Gear Online Beta. Anxious gamers were initially met with the inability to register for the Konami ID required to log into the beta. Once they were able to obtain the ID, the April 21st launch of the beta was a bust. Hold on, give me a second, let me take care of this. Servers crashed. Rumors of only Japanese players being able to play the beta began to worry hardcore fans. Four days later, the beta was up and running, and here is the result. At first play, the character movement seems slow, the controls feel awkward, and the graphics seem slightly subpar for the PlayStation 3. So keep in mind, this is the beta, and the more you play, upgrade your character's skill and speed. It'll start to feel much better and the game starts to really come to life. Log on to our forums at DeviateNews.com and let us know if you're part of the Metal Gear Online Beta. Tell us what you think about Metal Gear's leap into the online world. The day before the Metal Gear Online Beta finally launched, Infinity War released four new maps in a $10 bundle pack downloadable from your PlayStation Store. Chinatown, Creek, Broadcast, and Kill House. Broadcast. I highly recommend this map for search and destroy missions. It is a well-balanced map and it has both close quarters and long-range possibilities. Take your choice of breaching the lower levels or take your team on the roof. Drop through the skylight or down through the stairwell. But be sure to check all corners if you wish to see victory. Chinatown. My favorite of the new maps for its detail and graphic beauty. Played well is Team Deathmatch with many tight streets, low walls, buildings, corridors, and roofs. This makes for an interesting battle. Kill House. It's just that. A small hangar or warehouse with lots of cover to lure you into a false sense of safety just to be cornered quickly and dealt with severely. I recommend Deathmatch, shoddies only. Creek, 
beautiful map that plays well in all game types. It offers thick colorful vegetation in a mountainous region with a canyon running through it. Some say this is a sniping only map, but it also has a cave that is the hinge pin of the map. It is well suited for close quarters combat. For those of you who have purchased the maps already, what do you think about it? Visit us on our forums at forums.dvanews.com and voice your opinion. And when we come back, Apple will be keeping you up to date on your PlayStation community news. And later, we'll show you some must-know spots here in Liberty City. Hey, this is Undertow from Urgent Fury. When we're all done at the end of the night making the baddest tournament you guys are going to find for COD4 on the PlayStation 3, while we're kicking up our feet, we're opening up some brews, and we are watching dv8news.com. Check it out, baby.